Hey guys, it's your boy Scandy here and today I'm just going to recap on the pen tool. Now, a couple of people have been asking me online about uh, the keyboard commands and, and how you can use it properly and, and stuff like that and sometimes people kind of dodge around the pen tool just by drawing with a brush and the, the results that you get are just going to be completely different once you know how to use the pen tool. So, I'm just going to run over it, run over a couple of the keyboard commands and a couple of the uses of the pen tool and what you can do as well. So I'm just going to get straight into it. So I've got my background set as black. Now if I'm going to put an outline on top of it then I want to start a new layer. I'd always start a new layer with the pen tool and always have it on its own layer just so you can go back to it and mess around with it if you do need to. So if I want to draw straight lines it's really simple. Just left click and left click and left click and left click and you can literally do that all day long just keep left clicking and it's really simple for you so I'm gonna get rid of those now if I want to put a curve in then I'm gonna left click just to start my point there and then left click and hold to bring out these bars now what these bars are doing is basically telling Photoshop and the pen tool where the curvature of the line should go so it's always going to follow out from this line as you can see if you're messing around with it and once you're happy with the curve then just let go of left click and then you've got one of three options now the first option is to press control and hold this and what this is going to do is move both of the bars to adjust the curvature depending on where your next line is going to go so if I wanted mine to go down here for example then I'd hold control and bring the whole thing round and then click and it would do a straight line for me as if there was no point here so that's what these bars are for now if you want to move one bar individually then you hold alt and click on the bar so I can move just this here to adjust that side or I can hold alt click and hold to adjust this side and all this is saying is where the next point is going to be so if I just put that to there like that and then click then my line will just come straight round now don't worry about the bar whenever you do any filling or any brushing over that that will disappear but these are just for reference points now so just going to go back set it to back how it was and the final thing that you can do is you can just get rid of these completely take them out of the equation and start afresh as if you just clicked here again so I'll press alt and get rid of that and then I can either just normal click for a straight line or I can click and hold again for a curve so if if you are just starting out in Photoshop and especially you, you know you're just beginning to use the pen tool what I would advise at first is just click in click and hold and just get rid of this completely by holding alt and click in the middle and then you can start again so you can go straight by clicking or you can go curved by clicking and holding and then you've only got one command to remember then just by pressing alt and then clicking in the middle and obviously as you get a little bit more advanced it's it's kind of good to use the bars as often as you can because they are there to help you but don't get caught out by just clicking here and then clicking and holding bringing the bars out and then saying oh I want to click here now but if I do it's going to bring me a curve out here and people get confused and they don't understand why it's not just done a straight line for them but basically all that is is you saying I want the line to end there and Photoshop says where well, you've asked for a curve to go in this direction which is this bar so it's kind of met in the middle and curved down and then gone up and met at that point so to cancel that it's alt and click or you can just press control move the whole thing or alt just to move one so how do we incorporate this into a picture in Photoshop well I'm gonna show you just click click I'm just gonna draw a really simple shape don't know what it is but it's a it's a shape it's a shape nonetheless and I've got this and now I want to fill these lines with either a pen pencil brush or something like that so I'll go over to my brush tool by clicking there or pressing B and then you want to set the size to under 10 pixels 
Obviously for, for outlines anyway, I would stick to under 10, 10 pixels. If, if you're using a, you know, you're doing a really big image, then you might want to do something a little bit bigger, but generally the ballpark range is about between five and, and 10 anyway. So I'm just going to stick to eight and then my hardness on 100% and then mess around with the brush tip shapes. So obviously you've got, you know, fan edges, um, pens, pencils, there's, there's loads of presets that you can choose from anyway, and just pick whichever one you want and then choose the foreground color that you're going to use so I'll just say blue and then go back over to your pen tool by pressing P and then right click and then I'm going to uh, go on stroke path not fill path and then it's using the settings from the brush that I've just made then and then press OK and because I've got mine as kind of a strike out you can see that it fades a little bit so that's how you would do that and say I wanted to keep that but then I wanted to fill so what I do is I create a new layer on top right click again actually I change the foreground color so you can see the difference right click fill path and use the foreground color and click OK and obviously because my outlines on top I put the outline there so then you know that this color in here is going right up to the edges and there's not going to be no kind of messing around zooming in and trying to trying to fill right to the edge because you'll never be able to get the pixels as as perfect as that so that's why you should use the pen tool for for coloring if if you can but always do different things on on different layers so have all your outlines on one layer and then all your fillings on another one and then if you're going to do shading set the shading to a separate layer so always keep everything separated with your outline on top and then your base colors under and then kind of build on top of that then once you're happy with your selections all you need to do is just right click and then delete path and then that's on then that's permanently there for you so now i've got I can get rid of that if I wanted to or I can just get rid of that or I can just have that on there so these are completely separate but I've only done one thing with the pen tool so I hope it's made it you know a, a little bit easier for you to understand obviously the pen tool is it's quite a difficult thing to use when you're just getting started I know it, it took me a couple of weeks to pick it up anyway but once you can fully use it it's, it's a lot easier and if you do have any questions or anything like that just just drop me a comment below um, and I will answer them all but yeah I hope it's made it a bit more clear for you guys I don't know why that popped up on the screen but I hope you like share and subscribe to my channel peace out